Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're just going to do another polish pickup shop with me because I like doing these and people seem to like shopping with me. So here we go. So this month, uh, the theme I believe was like 90s television. And um, because I have my voice back, we might go through the extra stuff too. But there are 90 nail polish products this month. Now I will warn you, Despite being born in 1992, I don't remember the 90s at all. Um, so a lot of the references I'm probably not going to get. A lot of them were just not things that I watched or, or really ever got into. So we'll see how many of these I actually get. So I've already pre-opened all the tabs, as you can see up top. I hope that stresses everybody out. Um, and the first one we have is 1422 <laughs> Designs. Oh, I'm stressed. Wow, that's perfect. All right. Um, this is a Seinfeld reference. I love Seinfeld, actually. My little brother is, he, he seems to be obsessed with George Costanza because he like buys glasses that look like him and his girlfriend really hates Seinfeld. So it's a, it's a match made in heaven. Um, I like the reference. I, I do love uh, the reference, but I do have a lot of like pinky purple polishes. So why don't we skip that? I'm trying to keep it to like two or three polishes. So let's see if we can. I mean, obviously my wish list is going to be insane, but we always pare it down. So Adored Colors, I've never heard of this brand. This is called The Coming of Shadows. This is a Babylon 5 reference, never seen it. But it looks really cool, like glowing in the dark. And then I think, I'm assuming this is some sort of like neon light or something. It is a nice color, but I just, I don't know. I'm not into these like deeper colors right now. I'm, I'm feeling very bright. And then we have Alchemy Lacquers, which I, I have a couple by them and they're both amazing. This is called Bayside High. This is Saved by the Bell. I've never seen that either. Um, Again, this is it's a really pretty color, but it's very dark, and I'm not really looking for too many deeper tones for my collection right now. All mixed up lacquers. I drink coffee like a Gilmore. I'm assuming, yep, Gilmore Girls. Never seen it. <laughs> this is going to be uh, how disconnected from her own generation is Hillary episode. Um, I actually have a Revlon polish that dries down a little bit similar and I just I don't love the way that this looks in particular it looks like a candy bar but I'm just not feeling it right now oh this is fun anchor and heart lacquer music television you know what I was like what is music television it it's MTV oh my god I didn't watch MTV <laughs> growing up um this is cute though. This is really fun for spring. I love the like robin's egg blue with all of these colors shining through. And I've never tried Anchor and Heart, but I have heard really good things. So let's just throw this on the wish list. This is a maybe, despite me not knowing anything about MTV. Art is Nails Russo, inspired by Blossom 90s TV show. I don't know what that is. Um, this is a nice flaky red to orange kind of flip. It's pretty, but I know that I won't wear this. Atomic Polish, The Midnight Society. Okay, this one I do know. This is Are You Afraid of the Dark? This is a show that I was obsessed with as a kid. And I think that like even as an adult, you know, I love creepypasta. I love true crime. And like this definitely fed in early. And also the fact that every Saturday, my grandma, since I was like seven years old, would watch, um, we would watch America's Most Wanted together. So like I've been primed from a young age and this one is really cool. I like this purple like shimmer running through it. It is glow in the dark. Um, and we've got like these bright pinky purple flakies in here. Uh, between me loving the inspiration, it being like glow in the dark and a color I like, I will add it to the wish list. We will see. Um, it looks like we don't have a picture for this one. This one's called Beneath the Surface Lies the Future. Hopefully we'll get some swatch pictures soon. Baroness X Wet Shorts. What? 
90s liquid televisions animated shorts on MTV. Well, that's why I don't know what it is. This is a fine hollow magnetic polish with blue to indigo shimmer. Oh, so this is like a topper, I'm assuming. I I don't know if th maybe this is it. Like the I just like pointed at the computer with my own hand like you guys can see that, but I think it's this like silvery one and then I'm assuming this is it over like a deeper color. I have a lot of flaky toppers. I just don't need any more. PCB lacquers. I got responsibilities now. This is, oh, Angelica from Rugrats. I did watch Rugrats as a kid. I loved that show. Um, I liked uh, Phil and Lil's parents a lot. <laughs> um, big bi wife energy from the dad. I got responsibilities now. This is like a nice polish, but I don't like this particular tone of pink. I have quite a few of them, surprisingly. I like a more neon or a more like Barbie pink, I guess. BKL's Jawsome, inspired by the Street Sharks. I vaguely recall the Street Sharks, but I don't think I ever watched it. Blue to purple pastel multi-chrome base with gold reflective glitter. Is this one of those that looks like insane under the flash? Ooh. I half want it because it's BKL, but like a pastel multi-chrome? I don't think I have anything like that. Oh, that is, that is a beautiful picture. That is also really beautiful. Okay, add it to the wish list. Oh, Black Dahlia Lacquer, The Fool Who Ripped His Pants, SpongeBob. There we go. I know this one. Um, I, this is a really pretty blue hollow for sure but i have so many like plain hollows you know what i do love about this though is look at we've got some big variety of swatcher hands and shapes and colors here so that's cool i respect that i love that um but i will pass because i know i've got a hollow that looks very similar Ooh, what is this um I'm so over Jordan Catalano. I don't know what that's from, but that color is kind of everything. This is really cool. Look at this. Oh my gosh. All right. You're going on the wish list. Uh, I thought that I wasn't going to want much this month because I don't get half the references, but Hercules by Danny Vienna. Inspired by the muses from Hercules. I watch the movie Hercules a lot because I'm obsessed with Danny DeVito and in love with Danny DeVito, but I also love the muses. So that's cool. I don't know. I've got something recently from a different brand that while it's not the exact same, it is a little bit similar. And I think that I will kick myself if I pick this up too, but it is a really beautiful orange. It's like a really rich, like ruddy, like, oh, it says it's a blackened orange jelly base. Yeah. So it's it's got just a lot of like deepness to the color that I really do like. What is this? By Vanessa Molina, The Teenage Witch. I have never seen Sabrina and the Teenage Witch. I'm sorry. Um... Oh, it's a thermal, so I can't even touch it anyways. But wow, that's cool. It goes from like a white to a more purpley blue. So if you are someone who allows themselves to purchase thermals, this one is pretty nice. Ooh, oh man, it's another thermal. This is called Nikita, inspired by the TV series La Femme Nikita. I also don't know what that is, but... This is cool looking. Cadillacer does some insane curly glitters and a lot of their thermals are pretty cool. So I, if I wasn't on a thermal band to myself, this is probably one I would buy. Uh, cameo lacquers or cameo color lacquers on your mark, get set, go. Inspired by Double Dare. Is this is from like the slime. I used to love this show. When I was a kid, I was like really into game shows. <laughs> like we had a TV channel called Game Show Network. I was obsessed with, I would watch, um, I don't even, what that show where it was like the whammy game where like it was this weird little goblin thing that ran around the screen and everyone was like, no whammy, stop. Like I loved that. 
Um, just any game show, really. I just like the idea of playing a dumb game and winning prizes. <laughs> this is, um, I like it, but it, it's not quite the slime green I want for it. Um, Cattail, the Spellman's Secret. Oh, this is also Sabrina. Um, just not, oh, is that a thermal? I'm like not even reading. I'm just like looking at this text and being like, tell me if it's a thermal. I'm assuming it's a thermal. Yeah, thermal. Okay. Hillary, just learn to read. It's cool, but it's a thermal and it's not my favorite tone of purple. I just like, this is the perfect Barney purple and I just don't like it that much. Color spectrum polish. Oh, uh, hey, baby. <laughs> Based on uh, Beavis and Butthead. I've seen a little bit of this show. The Mike Judge show that I've seen more of is King of the Hill. So um, this is a thermal. It's a tri-thermal, which I think is really interesting. I think that the tri-thermals are really cool. Um, oh, that is hilarious. Look at that. Um, but I, again, cannot be buying thermals. Not in this economy, girl. Cloris de Carol, you see what I want you to see. Inspired by the X-Files. Mm, girl, don't do this to me. Carol? Uh, why? Ooh. Oh, uh, it's got a cap. Black, silver, and red reflective glitter and hollow micro flakes. Um... Well, we know this is going on the wish list. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but it's going on the wish list because I love the X-Files. So I should show you guys my tattoo sometime. Crystal Knockout Sugar Baker. Inspired by Designing Women. I don't know what that is. Take a shot every time I say I don't know what this is. This is just another thermal. I cannot be doing this, girl. Um, It's cool, though. You know me. I love a flaky. And it's got... Does it have flaky and glitter in there? That's cool. Cupcake polish, overcome with emotion, inspired by Daria. I've never seen Daria. I feel like it's a show I would like, but I just feel like I'm also past the age where I would relate to it, I guess. I don't know. And I can't be nostalgic for it because I never watched it. This is cool though. I love these greens that have like the pink shift to them, but I have quite a few at this point. So I will have to pass, but I have a couple cupcake polishes. They are a really solid brand. Oh, what is this? This looks like rainbow fish. Um, Cuticula. Dang, Cuticula, they always get me with these flakies. Against the Tide, inspired by the Little Mermaid TV series. I am putting this on my list. This looks like dragon glass, but with a blue base, and I want that. Damn nail polish to the bus, inspired by, oh, the Magic School Bus. This looks like it's got some magnetic, let's see, silver magnetic effect with these huge, it has flakies, and it's got yellow and red glitters. I loved the Magic School Bus as a kid. I really liked the one where they went into a cake that was baking, and I liked the one where they went into some kid's body while he was sick. I feel like every episode, or every 90s TV show had, like, an episode where... They went into another kid's body and like, it was very weird. This is fun and I know I don't have anything like it in my collection, but I personally don't enjoy the, the yellow and the blue together, like these specific tones of yellow and blue. It's just not my favorite. It looks um, a little bit swampy and while I think the color inspiration is fine, it's just not my personal preference. Dangle Foot Nail Polish, Chevron's Locked. This is uh, inspired by Stargate. You would think that as an X-Files freak, I would have watched Stargate too, but I just never was so interested in it. But this is really pretty gray with copper red multi-chrome flakes and a silver magnetic pull. You can kind of see that it almost looks like light reflecting off, but that's the magnet there. That's really cool. I've not heard of this brand. If you guys have tried them before, let me know what you think of them. Do Nail Polish. Sunset Beach, inspired by the 90s TV soap Sunset Beach. I've never actually watched a soap opera. Um, it's just too light for me. I don't really like these, like, super light, frostier colors, and so I will have to pass on that. Dreamland Lacquer, more like Dr. Michael Badass, inspired by Dr. Michael Baden or Baden from a show called Autopsy. I've never heard of this show, but... 
It's called Autopsy. I might like it. <laughs> Cornflower base loaded up with hollow flakes and Aurora shimmer that shift from blue to purple. It is, oh, I really like, you can see the purple in this one, this particular photo. Um, yeah, this is a nice color. Oh, wow. You can see a lot of those flakes in there. I just am not feeling a strong pull to it. Even though I'm like, if I had this, I wouldn't be mad at it. I just don't feel like buying it, I guess. Huh, this one by DRK Nails called In Living Color. And like, I see this picture and instantly I'm, I'm like sucked in. It's just like rainbow flakies in what, what is this, a silver? Oh, it's a clear base mixed with multicolor flake that shifts from black to red and turquoise metallic flakes. Okay, add that to the list. What is in living color? Is that a, is that a soap opera? I guess I don't know, <laughs> um, but it looks cool. Envy Lacquer, Spunky. Oh, this is inspired by Rocco's Modern Life. I used to love that show. I liked his friend Heifer, whose whole family were wolves and he didn't know that he was adopted. Um, this is a cute, fun color. However, I know I have plenty of purples that look this way. And I've got to just be more mindful of bringing in similar stuff. But this does look really cool matte. And I love the inspiration. Rocco's Modern Life was such a great show. Fair Maiden Polish, Down by the Creek, inspired by Dawson's Creek. I've never seen it. I don't know what it's about. Um, this is kind of a mermaid's tail green. It looks pretty, but it's definitely not my vibe. I'm not a mermaid gal. I'm not uh, super mermaidy. I don't know what that means, but I know what that means, you know? I, I just never got into like nautical stuff. So, I mean, I'll pass on that. Fancy Gloss Courage, inspired by Courage of the Cowardly Dog, another banger of a show. Um, but this is a thermal, so we will have to pass. Garden Path Lacquers, Omelette du Fromage. This is, of course, Dexter's Lab. Um, this is a interesting one. What is going on here? It has an ever so slightly milky base packed with blue holographic micro glitters, holographic micro flakes, and large orange gold shifting iridescent flakes. Those are like what's drawing me in here. Like this looks very interesting and very different. I wish that this website had arrows because every time I click on stuff, I feel like I'm missing. I'm adding that to the wish list because that looks pretty cool. Girly Bits, Scenes from a Hat, inspired by Whose Line Is It Anyways? People were really obsessed with this show. I remember watching it from time to time, but I don't, like, remember much. Um, I don't know. I don't... The glitters are not calling to me. I just don't like the glitters in this base for some reason. I think it's because they're not, like, a punchy color. They're kind of more subtle, and I love obnoxious stuff. Glisten and Glow, Miss Fine, inspired by the 90s TV hit, The Nanny. Um, I've never seen The Nanny, but I have seen Fran Drescher in the Weird Al Yankovic movie, UHF, and I liked her there. Her voice is really obnoxious. I'm obsessed with it. Um, yeah, it's like cute. I like it. I have a couple polishes from Glisten and Glow, and while like my main staple from them is their top coat, I do like the polishes that I have from them. And this is a very loaded flaky, but there's something about like magenta. I don't know. Like I like how vibrant this is, but I just feel like I have like these more berry looking tones in spades in my collection. Hearts and Promises 90210. Never seen the show. <laughs> um Fun purple to pink muted thermal hollow. Well, we've already put ourselves out of it, but I do like the subtlety of this thermal. That is pretty nice. I know I just said I don't like uh, subtle stuff, and I, I like this from a like onlooker's perspective, but I couldn't see myself ever wearing this. Um, it's just, I think it's like a cool concept. So we'll pass because it's thermal. Heather is Hughes, happy, happy, joy, joy. Have you ever guys, you guys ever watched Run and Stimpy? I watched that probably more than I should have from a younger age than I should have. My dad really liked it. And so we watched a lot of Ren and Simpy. 
Um, loved that show, but I don't, uh, I don't, I can't do this one. It's a thermal. Guys, stop putting so many thermals in Polish pickup. I can't buy these from you. Hit the bottle. Polishes his royal freshness. Inspired by Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I actually have seen um, quite, like, not a lot, but enough of this show. I like the show. I always liked that there was a character named Hillary. Uh, because that's pretty rare. I've only met, like, three or four Hillarys in real life. And they all spell it, um, in my opinion, incorrectly. <laughs> they spell it differently than me. I'm H-I-L-L-A-R-Y, and most people spell it with one L. Um, and I met one person who spelled it I-E. So, I don't know. But I don't need any more stamping polishes right now, at least not in fun colors. Indie by Patty Lopes, The Blazer, another Fresh Prince one. Ooh, this is fun. This looks kind of like Christmassy. I know it says that these are like teal, but this has like major Christmas vibes for me for some reason. Um, but that is really cool. It's pretty. I just, uh, like I said, it feels too Christmas, so I don't want it. Jen and Barry's, his friends call him Doc. From Star Trek Voyager. I love Star Trek. I haven't watched too much Voyager. My favorites are the original series and Next Generation. And um, I do like Deep Space Nine quite a bit because that one's fun as well. But it's a pretty dark color. And like I said, I'm looking for more bright stuff right now. Um, this one's inspired by Bill Nye. Hopefully we can see. Oh, it's a thermal, so I can't even have it even if I want it. So bye. Kathleen and Co., The Charmed Ones, inspired by Charmed, another show that I've never seen. This is a very fun, bright blue. It's like a dark but bright. You get what I'm saying? Like, it looks... Oh, is this one of those super reflective ones? I haven't gotten the super reflective one that I bought from the last polish pickup yet, so I don't know if I am going to like this crazy reflective finish, so I kind of want to wait and see... KB Shimmer, The Chosen One. This straight up looks like uh, TV static. It's crazy. This is based on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I watched like the first season of this a couple years ago and I just did not get it. I was like, is this how people dressed in the 90s? <laughs> like I was not into it, um, unfortunately, because it's such a popular show. Like people are very nostalgic for it. So I was kind of sad I didn't like it. Um... Crucible designs a teenage what? A uh, teenage witch reference. Again, just too deep of a blue for what I'm feeling right now. It seems like there's kind of a lot of blue flakies. Oh, what is this? Lacquer is in the air. TRL. MTV's Total Request Live. Don't know what it is. Don't care because this is going on the wish list anyways because you know what? This straight up reminds me of... Just Face 90s, 9-0 Lacquer, Smoothie Bar stuff, and I don't have a yellow one, so this would fit right into that line. Let's see. Leisha's Lacquer, Bill, 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 um, Bill Nye the Science Guy. I was watching that even in high school. I don't know. Um, sometimes teachers just don't care. <laughs> I love it. Uh, too dark of a color, though. This looks cool here. It's kind of jelly-ish, but it seems like overall it is quite a deep blue. Lemming Lacquer. That's Sardo. This is a um, Are You Afraid of the Dark reference. And I don't like know very specific references that well from the show. I just remember watching it a ton before dinner. Um, and it's just a little too dark again. Lily Pad Lacquer, you will respect my authority. That is obviously a South Park reference. I just, there's so many blues that I'm just feeling like I don't want to get a blue just to be like rebellious. Wow, this is very, very much up my alley though. Very fun, bright color, loaded with flakies. I'm kind of into it. Let's add it to the list. Lucky 13 Lacquer, take chances, make mistakes, get messy. Again, another magic school bus, and it looks like this is in fact a thermal. It also glows in the dark, that's cool, but again, I cannot, uh, I cannot be doing that. It says it comes with a clamshell of silver hollow glitters. 
in a blend of mini stars. So it looks like you get maybe some like glitters with this too. So that's kind of cool. You get quite a lot with this one. That seems fun. Lumen, she is the Slayer, another Buffy reference. This is a cool purple. I like this purple. Um, but again, I have so many that are like this kind of shimmery purple. Envy Designs, a simple girl with simple taste, inspired by Fran's Fine Fashions. I don't know what that is. I don't know what anything is, you guys. Oh man, that's embarrassing. I, I'm like, I, like I know I was born in the 90s, but I'm more of like a 2000s kid. I just, I'm from a village. We didn't get stuff in time, so let's see. Not my color, I guess. MJ Lacquer? Ah, oh, Sookie Sookie now. Inspired by 90s sitcom Living Single. I've never heard of this. Um, it's very like, oh, that's fun. I like the colorful uh, flakies running through it. I just, this sort of green is not totally my jam. That like minty green. I don't like mint type stuff too much. But this is really pretty. Like, objectively, I think this is pretty. I just know I would not reach for it. Moo Moo Signatures, Back to the Stone Age, inspired by childhood cartoon from the 90s. Um, I have one from this brand and, like, is a very reflective rainbow flaky. It seems like they do flakies really well. I just am not into the, like, the goldish color. It's giving a lot of, so I'm going to pass. Moonshine Manny, these are the days of our lives. I know this is a soap opera, I'm pretty sure, but I've never seen it. Um, Moonshine Manny, ooh, that's super fine glitter. Micro glitters, some might say. I'm just not feeling micro glitters right now. I'm just thinking about removing that, and I'm not happy about it. But I do like the colored flakies going through. MTK design, the rest is silence. Inspired by Dinobot from Beast Wars. Never seen it. Um, and this isn't my color. Again, just too dark. Um, these like bronzier colors. I don't like bronze too much, so we'll pass. Music City Beauty, the one with... Oh, this is like a Friends reference. This is honestly a pretty good color for a Friends reference. Um, I just feel like it is very, like... I see. I don't love, like, usually I can work out a lot of, like, brush strokes, but it seems like this one is very strokey, so I will pass. My Indie Polish Pink Power Ranger. I like this. This is cool. We have a gray kind of jelly type, and it is, like, a ton of pink and purple glitters running through in various shapes. This is fun. Um, That's funny. It says... My son wanted to take the lead on the project, having no clue what the Pink Power Ranger was. And then he thought that the it was boring, and so he decided it was going to be a gray base. Honestly, good call. You, Your son did a good job. I like this. I like that matte. Let's add that to the list. Nail Artisan Cosmetics, Wonders at the Wormhole, <laughs> DS9. Let's see. Do we like it? I'm bad at um, magnetic polishes, so... I might not buy more. <laughs> I just can't get the the magnet like line to stay no matter how long I hold the magnet for. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Is it supposed to do that? Nail Hoot, you got it, dude, inspired by Full House. I've never seen the show. Um I don't know anything about it. I think the Olsen twins are in it, but not my not my favorite green. It's kind of like a cilantro green. Nailed it. My Revenge Will Be Artistic, inspired by Beetlejuice. I think I watched Beetlejuice as a kid, but I don't remember it too much. And I'm just not really into these like berry tones right now. Native War Paints, There's Nothing Wrong With Your Television, inspired by The Outer Limits. These, there's something about these like super tiny glitters um, that like they're not, if they don't take up the entire base, I just feel like it looks like somebody got salt and pepper on your nails. I'm not a huge fan. 
um, never mind. Apothecary explaining it all. Inspired by Clarissa explains it all. Uh, my boyfriend was horrified when I said I've never seen this show, but I've never seen the show. This is one of those super reflective glitters. And like I said, I'm kind of waiting for mine to come in before I make any like further decisions, but it is super reflective. Night Owl Lacquer Smelly Cat. This is a friend's reference that I do understand. <laughs> um, this is a flaky, I like this matte. That's pretty cool. It's kind of a swampy type green. I think this is pretty. I do like it, but like I said, I have been buying so many of these deeper, swampier colors. I'm trying to flip around to some brighter stuff. Noodles Nail Polish. The points don't matter. And this is a Crelly with a bunch of like pink, blue, purple glitters in it. I have a few white Crellies and I like them, but I find that over time the glitters tend to stain the base and they turn kind of funny colors. And I'm not a big white based polish person anyways. That was hard to say. White based polish person. So I will pass. Uh, polish Heroes in a Half Shell. Oh, this is Ninja Turtles. Um, it's mint colored, so I don't enjoy that. But this is, these photos are really nice. Um, this does look really nice. You can't really see the brush strokes. This is a really nice color. I just, it's not going to look good on me. Paint It Pretty Polish, Wheel of Morality, <laughs> inspired by the Animaniacs. I watched a little bit of Animaniacs. I don't remember much about it, but um, this is, again, another beautiful uh, multi-chrome here, but it's very dark, and I am going for light stuff. Oh, this is cute. I like this. Pampered Polishes Courage. It is pink with some assorted glitters. Inspired by Courage the Cowardly Dog. And it's funny because this is not a tone of like pinky purple that I absolutely love. But for some reason with the black running through it, I do love this. And the rare like square glitter, I think that's cool. So let's add that to the list. Paradox Polish, You Can't Touch This, inspired by MC Hammer. Um, I think I added a similar toned blue earlier. And I feel like that one really pulled me in way more. Penelope Luz Stargate. This looks cool. I've never seen Stargate. I think I said that earlier. But like, wow, that is very reflective. This looks cool on its own in this like picture here and these pictures down here without the flash. At least I think they're without flash. Um, I actually prefer this one without flash to the pictures with flash. That's kind of interesting. This is pretty interesting. I will add this to my wish list because hopefully my reflective stuff will come in before this polish pickup goes live, and then we'll see if I actually like that finish. Phoenix Fighting for Love and Passion, inspired by Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon. I never got into Sailor Moon as a kid. I was more of like, my, my big anime as a kid was Pokemon. This is a really pretty red, but like... We know how I am with red. And I did just order a Phoenix polish, so I want to see how I like the brand before I make any red commitments. <laughs> P.I. Colors, 90s kind of world, inspired by Living Single. I feel like we see this kind of color flip a lot, these like blue, purple, greens. And I've bought probably a couple of them from Polish Pickup at this point, so I don't need any more. Poetry Cowgirl, uh, Midnight Society. This is another Are You Afraid of the Dark? This is pretty cool, but it is very dark. It This kind of reminds me of a campfire at night. I do like that. It fits the inspiration very well, but I'm not looking to purchase any dark colors right now. Oh, Polish for Days Bel Air. Now, I wonder how this compares to that other kind of tealy blue that I threw in. So now I am intrigued, especially with these black flakes running through. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, well, we'll compare the two. I'll, I'll add that to my list. Psych Minerals Dun Dun from Law and Order. I have never watched the original Law and Order. I watch SVU though, because I love iced tea. And one time I tweeted at him and he responded to me and I felt very important, um, but it is a thermal. So I will pass. 
Actually, I have a framed photo of iced tea on our uh, TV stand because when I got my first office job, I put a picture, a framed picture of iced tea on my desk. I don't know why. Don't ask. I love him. Red eyed lacquer. You're my one in five billion from the X Files. We got a couple of X Files here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's fun. I like these colors. It reminds me of um, there's like a mint that is this color, isn't there? It's like pink and white and black. I don't know. I It's because it's X-Files, it's making me want it, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't think I will wear it. So I'm going to have to say no. Restored by Polish by Restored Naturally. Wow. Chronic Glitteritis inspired by ER. Um, I like that it says it have red popping through. It says Teal to dark teal base filled with turquoise and dark red micro flakes. That teal and red does look cool together. Um, but I don't think I want that. Oh, what is that? Rogue Lacquer Time Out. Saved by the Bell. Don't know anything about Saved by the Bell, but I'm adding this to the wish list. Look at that. That's insane. That's all over the place. I love it. Saki Cosmetics Chemical X. Um, I love the base color, especially like... This is definitely in that very Perry vibe right now. That is the Pantone color of the year. I will have a video coming soon with that, by the way. But like I said, these like tiny glitters, I don't know. It's like sprinkles, but I feel like I, they just look like they feel gritty and I don't know why that bothers me. <laughs> Sassy Cat's Lacquer, Pink is Life. This is a Saved by the Bell polish. This is my kind of pink, but... I prefer like these pinks to be like cream. So I will pass on that. I do have one Sassy Cats uh, lacquer polish though, and it was really nice. Sassy Sauce Polish Bada Bling, inspired by The Sopranos. I watched The Sopranos, I think a couple of years ago, finally. I didn't think I would like it. My boyfriend was like, you have to watch this. And then I was like, dang, I think that the guy who plays Pauly is hot with his weird like silver hair on the side and then my boyfriend was like why do i ask you to watch anything with me <laughs> um he hates my taste in men this is a cool like gray with um flakes in it but i do have a few like this at this point not exactly this color scheme it, i love the idea of it being sopranos themed but i just think that i should prioritize other things what is this scofflaw varnish Central Perk Couch. So definitely a friend's reference. This kind of looks like the Tahin Queen that I, I think it's called Tahin Queen, that I bought from last uh, month's polish pickup. It has a few extra colors in it, but the base color seems like it's pretty similar. So I know better than to just buy another one. Soothing Soul Nail Lacquer Zoidberg. That's such a great color for him. Um... It just reminds me of, I think, when he was, like, molting one time. But it's just a little too icy for my taste. So I will pass. Starlight and Sparkles Starlight Polish Temple Run. Legends of the Hidden Temple. I think I watched that, too. Very dark color. Is that green? A murky brown with green undertones. I think that if you caught me in another mood, I might like it, but right now, like I said, bright colors all the way. Stella Chroma Crikey, the, inspired by the Crocodile Hunter. It is just that minty green that I'm not totally obsessed with. Sweet and Sour Lacquer, Did I Do That? Inspired by Steve Urkel from Family Matters. I, like I said earlier, this is, this is a cool, like, color combo, but... The white Crellies, I just, I don't pull towards them. Um, this one is missing a photo. Some kind of prison inspired by my so-called life. We got a lot of these berry colors. Was was this color just popular in the 90s? I don't know. Um, too dark. Twisting Nether Lacquer Spider-Man. Oh, this is honestly a pretty good color. Wow, that looks so different in these lights. Um, yeah, it's not my favorite but I like the uh matching the inspiration I think they did a good job watch uh, love and tragedy inspired by the Titanic I 
don't like like i will never sit and watch the titanic like it's so long i've seen it a couple times and i do love i do love kathy bates um in anything that she's in but for some reason sometimes when i'm like in a bad mood i'm like let me feel even sadder and i pull up the scene where the uh band is playing nearer my god to thee on on the, on the deck and i'm just like crying like watching this and watching the old man and woman in their bed and the irish mother like reading the stories to her kids and they're all dying and i'm just like life is really hard right now i don't i don't know why i'm like that you ever just feel sad and make yourself sadder because i sure do wildflower lacquer it's showtime inspired by beetlejuice okay all right is this green it's a dusty sage with purple to pink to orange shifting shimmer and scattered hollow flakes Ooh, I don't like this green. Wildflower lacquer. I'm so intrigued by them. They have a lot of stuff that I've seen that looks really cool. But for some reason, like the polish pickup stuff is usually just like not a hit for me. This purple shimmer looks amazing. I just am not a fan of this specific tone of green. It's like too minty. I don't know. Like, and then we have... Zombie Claw Polish Friendship is the Real Gift, and it's inspired by Boy Meets World, a show I've never seen. Blue base with mustard and gold metallic flakies, lime green, gold, pink flakies, and Aurora Shimmer. Everything I have from Zombie Claw, I love. They are a solid brand, but just too deep of a color for me. So, on my wish list, we have 6, 12, 15, and I will have to narrow this down in the coming week to well i'm filming this on monday but you'll see this on thursday so hopefully i'll have it narrowed down by then so that friday when polish pickup goes live i can just get in and get out but there was a actually a couple other things that i wanted to show you guys so um there was these water slide decals that I thought were really interesting for like these patterns. Um, who are these by Ribbit Stickets? And I recently got some from this brand. I don't think that I would use pretty much anything on this page though, but I like the other two. So I might get these and um, just pass this along. I'm not sure. I'll add it to the wish list. And then nothing from the top or the base coat really called to me i have a lot of stuff to go through there but there was these shower bombs were really interesting to me um this is based on law and order svu and these are like they kind of like steam up and uh it's kind of like a little bit of a spa type thing and I really was kind of interested in this. Oh, and this is, I just looked at this. A portion of the proceeds from these will be donated to End the Backlog, which was started by Mariska Hardigay's Joyful Hearts Foundation. I didn't know, like I've, I've known about End the Backlog, but I did not know that that was um, started by Mariska Hardigay herself and her foundation. Like that's very cool um and part of the proceeds will go to that so that's nice and i have always wanted to try shower bombs so if you guys have tried these uh they're by bygone apothecary or just from any brand let me know because i am thinking about getting these and then let's see there i don't do the waxes but i thought that the saturday morning cartoons one looked really yummy for those of you who do, it looks like it's got like cereal right in it. I bet that smells really good. It's supposed to smell like Fruit Loops and Rice Krispies. And then there was one other thing. This right here. This is a DIY Artisan Polish Reflective Lab by DRK. Now I know I said I wanted to wait and see how I feel about the reflective glitters. And I, I stand by that. I want to wait and see. And I should get that before this goes live. But... If I do get them, and I really like the reflective glitter thing, I'm thinking I might buy this just because I think it would be fun. You get to mix up, uh, I think two, it says you get two ounces of suspension base. I think you're um, able to do two polishes probably. And it's got like nine different reflective glitter colors so you can mix them however you want. It's got um, magnetic, aurora, candy, thermal, multi-chrome powder, and more. 
um just like really fun sounding so if i'm into it let me know if you guys would like to see me do like just like a fun little like mix with me on my channel uh and maybe i will pick that up so yeah now we've got just a few extra things on the wish list i think that um it won't be too hard to narrow it down i think last month i had like over 20 but yeah i'm gonna narrow this down in the coming week and then you guys will see what i picked up in my next haul so yeah let me know what you guys want to pick up down below and i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you want these to keep on coming i like doing them and i will see you in the next one bye